see it coming up here this year. A couple shows coming up at United Center. But you always wonder what they're looking for. You just think it's All right, what's going on, guys? So, picked up the Sportsman Honer made in Germany harmonica, and it's got a really good condition box. Look at that. There's a hiker with, like, an ice axe. Very cool graphic. Um, I think that's, like, a really nice piece. Even if I wanted to keep it for myself, I think that would be a nice display piece for my hiking collection. But it itself is not in the best condition. Um, it's got some wear here. You know, it's probably stored somewhere in a garage, maybe. So it's got a little bit of wear, but they wanted. Uh, let's see, what do they want for? They wanted twenty, and I ended up paying uh, fifteen dollars for it. So that's pretty good. Uh, picked up those Barbies that I showed you guys earlier. Um, huge bin of like Barbies and like other dolls. So I think that was a pretty good find. That was forty dollars for the whole thing. I like bundles like that because you never know what you're gonna find. And we'll take a look through all that later on. But yeah, let's check out another estate sale or thrift store. All right, and there's the inside of the harmonica box. Pretty cool about some information about the Honer factory. Largest harmonica factory in the world. Established 1857. Absolutely beautiful box. Um, if the harmonica was in really good shape, this would definitely be worth some decent money. But I mean, yeah really nice box like that pretty cool all right i saw people leaving empty-handed so i'm not expecting much but this is the sale here 10 12 no signs nothing it's a kind of like a private sale i guess but all right let's check it out not expecting much from this sale honestly All right, what's going on guys? Was actually pleasantly surprised. Found some vintage bears shirts. Uh, found that cool wooden bear. I got it for $3. Um, grabbed uh, some single stitch shirts. I'll show it to you later. Um, pretty decent sale overall. They had all like the clothing priced at a dollar, hats priced at a dollar. So it's better pricing than some estate sales will up price like certain hats or whatever. Um, so yeah, definitely worth going in. Let's see, we might go in somewhere else. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to look to see what else is out here. All right, out here by the lake. Picked up some wings. Let's take a look at all those Barbie stuff while we're out here. Got a nice lake view. All right, might as well check these out. So I picked up these really neat 
uh, Santa Claus things, and that's 50 cents, and it's like a very vintage-y Santa Claus part, either like some kind of ornament or just like a head. I'm sure you could use it to do like a custom thing. So that's pretty neat. Picked up this little Santa Claus too. Um, probably another like quarter or 50 cents felt Santa pretty cool uh, Grab these shoes good condition. I did pay up for these I paid about $15 and then I grabbed all the clothes and hats, but let's Check out the cool dolls. So everything came in this trunk Not really sure what this doll is at. I don't see any tags on it Got clothes here A lot of vintage clothes we have a vintage Barbie or Midge here Very interesting plastic hair and she's got that vintage um, Look to her so let's see where this one was made Midge um, It's hard to tell but definitely has some wear on it. another vintage doll more clothes Got ideal Chrissy dresses. It's like a custom rug for a dollhouse. Interesting uh, Francie 1965. It's like a little striped MCM dress. This is a cool little jacket. It's like a little Christmassy jacket. This is Tammy Japan, but it does have some discoloration here. So that's pretty neat. Let's see what else we got. Some of this needs to be cleaned. It was down in the basement. Oh, look at that vintage um, Barbie head. Nothing on the back. These look like they're like snake skin or something like that. It's pretty neat. Bell bottoms. If anybody knows what those snake skin dolls are from, let me know. That's a cool doll. We got a vintage Barbie there. Another little doll, if anybody knows what this is, that's pretty cool. A lot of accessories. Another vintage Midge, maybe. Taiwan. Another one of those Barbies. Another cool one. Oh, this is a cool one too. Look at that with the little MCM outfit. That's neat. And their feature, the facial feature are, are, are in good condition. They're not like, um, like you see the eyelashes and everything. They're not like really beat up or whatever. They were probably just displayed. Um, some keys, vintage keys. Mattel Taiwan 60s. All kinds of clothes.
skipper, vintage skipper. All right, so pretty good haul for 40 bucks. That was a good, good lot, I would say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll look into all of these, figure out which doll is which. I use uh, Google, the Google lens. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with the, today's haul. And uh, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All right, it's ready. It's ready. Can I look at your Barbies that yep. you got? Yep. Okay. So all of these were uh, $40? All of these dolls. So this is actually... Tammy? Yeah. Or Tawny. So this is by Ideal, not Mattel. This one's Ideal. Okay. I'll put that there. This is cool. Some of these are not. Um, yeah, I know, Julie. I know. But there's some Hong cool Barbies. Kong. They're all good, but not all of them are Barbie. Let me see. Oh, this is interesting. So this doll. Oh. Some of these are handmade. Like, this is handmade. Yeah. Oh, no. It's this. Made in Hong Kong. So That's like snakeskin. Snakeskin. That's outfit. Hong Kong. We'll have to really look it up because yeah. I think these go to this doll. Possibly. This is probably Hong Kong, so I'll put that over there. This is a Barbie. This is probably worth good money because it's the um, Midge. This is a Midge yeah. Barbie. So remember those wigs we found? Yeah, they go on they her. They go on her little head. So that little head. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Now this um, is a Chrissy Ideal coat. This is Chrissy. Oh, okay. So does this say Chrissy too? Yeah, these are Chrissy clothes. Chrissy. Those are Chrissy. Is this a Chrissy doll? I don't know what this is. They're a little dirty. It's a little dirty. Okay. This is Snaps. This is baby doll clothes. Yeah, we'll have to watch. They're dirty. That's why nobody bought them. Yeah, we'll have and to And then I showed up and I'm like... I mean, there's some good items in here. We just have to sort it and then wash them, I think. Wash some of this stuff. I wonder if there's any bar... Well, there's Barbies. I wonder if there's Barbie clothes. Oh! So this is the one I think, doesn't her arms go up? Oh, this is the uh, Stroll and Barbie. Is that rare? I'll have to look up the specific one, but yeah, this is the strolling one where her arms move. Mm -hmm. So these Barbies are good. These are worth money. So you'll make your money back just probably on one of these dolls. Or in the profit from just one of those dolls. Yeah. Um, this is Chrissy, another Chrissy. So the Chrissy clothes I'm putting there. This Barbie doll. Oh my gosh, sorry. I took a little peek. Some of these dolls are good. So these are like the Hong Kong dolls. I'll put them over there. Here's another Barbie. Okay, so this got to be a Midge. This is another Midge. See, the legs are dirty, but the head is actually in good condition. Yeah. Because the, the legs are rubberized. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they, you know, when they're not kept in the right this temperature, looks like a but the body is plastic, you know. Yeah. That's why if you guys see discoloration, there's more rubberized on the legs. But this, I mean, it can be cleaned off. Midge dolls are and, good. Uh, I mean, depending, some midge dolls are worth a lot, and some are worth like thirty. But yeah. Still... But I mean, look how clean this one is. Yeah. Like, see. I'm trying to see what this is. What kind of, it kind of looks like a Barbie clothes. This looks like Barbie. Yeah. Let me get this out. This looks like a Barbie outfit. So I'll put that with the Barbie. Some of them has got tags and stuff like that. Okay, I'll have to check. Oh, wow. You got another one. Yeah. Double trouble. Double trouble. That's a mid. Another midge. That one. Okay, this one's missing. Um arms but i think her arm is in here I think there's an arm in here somewhere i think her arms are in here it's just and then this one which one's this patent pending this actually might be good um mattel usa patented this is good and then this um i'm taking this off because 
This is a Barbie outfit. Which doll is that? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But it's um a patent pending, so it's a vintage. And then this got to be a Barbie outfit. So this is probably good, this Barbie outfit. I'm going to put that with the clothes. Because we can sell the clothes separate. Yep. Okay. This uh, outfit is good. That's a good Barbie outfit. And mm -hmm. then this is another one of those strolling Yeah, ones. look at her move. And she's actually in pretty good condition, too. Yo. She has the kissing fit. the, what is it called, the kissing face Fish thing. lips. Okay, see? <laughs> oh, yes. Ugh. Okay, so obviously this head does not go to this Barbie body. Really? I'm like, that's a weird... <laughs> That's a weird I have to little take the doll. Head off. So the head you could probably sell for like a lot of money. Really? Yes. Because it's rare. I need to take the head off of the body because yeah. that's not the right head. I mean body. Okay. So this. <laughs> now you got a little Halloween doll. To I'm scare pretty people sure with. this head. Sorry, this head. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it goes on here, and then this head is supposed to go on this body. I'm, oh, pre really? I'm pretty sure. This, this is a skipper. Yeah, I know. That's a skipper face. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure this head goes on that body. Maybe, and this but head goes you gotta on this double body. check I have first. to double check. But even just her head, like... Oh, God, no I head. mean, she still has her eyelashes. Oh, so the head looks because, cool. Because her eyelashes are intact, yep. it's worth a lot of money. Oh, so, wow, well, that's what I was I mean, you could sell this head. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to find a head in this good condition. But look, a lot of them have little eye... Oh, yeah, so these, these are like... I mean, if the eyelashes, eyelashes are intact, it's worth good money. Oh, this is a good Barbie outfit. Wait a second. Made Hong Kong. Oh, that must not be Barbie though. Okay. Okay, this is good. This Barbie's really good. Now look at the clothing and the outfit and look stuff like that. Look at her eyelashes. Yeah. Despite them being dirty, like her eyelashes are intact. Look at that. Oh, this is man. a good one. These are really good, Steve. You probably... I'm going to oh. make a few hundred off this lot. Okay, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, you have the little ones. Yup. Oh, here's an arm. I found one of her arms. Another scary one. <gasps> what? Okay. That's rare, right? I've never even seen this before with the black hair. And like, wait a second. Look at her mouth. Yeah. What is that? I'll have to look that up. Very cool. We have a Barbie suitcase. Okay, this is Barbie. This has got to be Barbie. This is good. That's a good outfit. Is that a big lot? Yeah, you did good with this. I can't get this open. I hear something inside, or I thought I did. Okay, and then Francie Mattel. This is a Francie dress. Yeah, that's awesome. That's that. expensive, Francie dress. And look, it's like that nicer material on the bottom kind of like wool basically looks feels like wool and then you have like the top is like cotton this has got to be a barbie jacket and i think it's missing the button on the back to strap it but it's pretty cool this outfit Ooh, this is good this is hong kong so it's like to those dolls I knew you'd be proud of me. Another Hong Kong. It's a lot of dust though, I'm getting allergies. But it's all worth it. Okay, wait. This gotta be Barbie. I've never seen this before. I was kind of... Barbie pocketbook. Oh, I found her other arm, the other Barbie's arm. Okay. Two arms. This is Barbie. 
Okay, this is a Barbie shirt. This is Barbie made in Hong Kong. So that's Oh, a zipper. This got to be a Barbie dress, right? <laughs> Looking. You got most of it, there's still a little bit. Wait, don't dump it out. Oh, it's in the trunk. Barbie, okay. This is Barbie by Mattel, and it's the black and white label. So this hoodie's probably good. Yeah, with the fur lining, right? And with a zipper in the front. If I can get the zip to work. Oh, wow. That's nice. So that I could sell separate. That's a good jacket. And then this leotard looks to be Barbie too. Um, this is Mattel. Oh, Tressy, Tressy. Whoever Tressy is, is that um, Mattel Tressy? I guess. I'd have to look it up. Tressy. But it's Mattel? I think so. Tressy? Who's Tressy? Tressy Mattel. Look that up. Tressy doll. Vintage American Tressy grow hair doll. Can I see what it looks Blonde like? Blonde fashion doll. She's probably one of those like bigger dolls there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tressy. And then this looks to be Mattel. Okay, ooh, what's this? Not in the, oh, okay, this is Black Label Motel too. This is a nice jacket, it's a little dirty. Maybe you can hand wash all these. I don't know, or sell as is. I could probably hand wash some of them. Some of them aren't dirty, right? Okay, so this is another jacket. Then some of it's handmade, I believe. Yeah. This is a Barbie purse. But, I mean, a lot of these dolls are good. So even if we throw the dirty stuff out, I mean, just to, um... Oh, it's already 12 minutes of this. All right. All right, guys. This is the haul. What do you think, Julie? It's good. I mean, you'll make... You'll profit a lot. You'll probably, like, triple, quadruple your profit just on the dolls. Yeah, plus then there's the clothes. For 40, right? 40 bucks for and everything. some of these dolls are, like, well over 40. Yeah. So, so, I mean, you did good. Good job. Good job, Steve. So, subscribe, guys, so you can see some cool finds like this. And, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Who would have thought Steve or Basket knows, uh, a lot about dolls. Well, we sell them, so little by little, over like the years, I picked up little bits. Bye. Bye.